I'm Kenny from Pro Tool Reviews, and if you're looking for outstanding sound quality and a small form job site speaker, Makita's XRM11 is the new king of the hill. So Makita's XRM11 is a job site speaker that's Bluetooth connected. And before we go into all the sound quality that I'm really impressed by, let's go over some of the physical features. Now, you'll notice in the front here, we've got a four inch woofer with a passive radiator, and there's also a 1.4 inch tweeter. That's where all of our sound is coming from. And this is a very small form factor, kind of cubical, but as far as job site radios go, it is a small form factor. Three sources for power. You got an AC cord that comes with it. And then in the back here, You'll notice you've got two battery slots. So one of them uses the 18 volt LXT battery. The other one uses the 12 volt CXT. So it is separate battery slots for each one. So 18 volt on one, 12 on the other. They're not interchangeable. This also doesn't charge. Around the corners here, we've got elastomer bumpers and these are pretty thick. And you can really tell on this front side here, there's some decent thickness to it. So you got some really good corner protection if you happen to drop this and kind of same thing along the edges here. So I do like, like that. It does look pretty well built all the way around. We have not drop tested it yet. We don't intend to either. That's for somebody else to do. And you do have this hidden compartment back here in the back. Now this is not weather sealed. And if you look closely on here, you can kind of see through the venting in here. But this is a great spot to, uh, to slide a smartphone or some other small things like that. Just keep in mind again, it's not weather protected back there. Control panels up top. Got tons and tons of buttons coming around here. Volume controls and some equalizer settings, power, forward play, all that good stuff is up there. Really easy to tell what button's what. There's a lot that's really special about the way Makita designed this system. First of all, you can link them up together. Up to 10 of these can be connected all via Bluetooth. And one of them acts as a parent speaker, the other one or ones act as child speakers. So you've kind of got a control unit and then up to nine that are connected to it. Some cool things about that, one, they sync perfectly. We set these things up in different sides of our shop to spread them out as far as we could. We set them out in the field outside to see and they just sync up beautifully. So it's not like you've got this weird uh, array of sound coming in with some funky stuff going on. But there's some other cool stuff here too. You can, from the parent, control the volume of all of the speakers. So if you hit the volume here, you're gonna bring up all of them, or you can go and hit the individual child speakers and let them kind of speak for themselves if you want to. So if you wanna just reduce the volume in one location, you can. Now, you'll notice what we didn't see on the controls, what we don't see a connection for is a radio. These are Bluetooth speakers, not radios. So that could be a downside for you if you like to listen to talk radio or just have a radio station on and not worry about managing a playlist. But keep in mind, if you've got a smartphone, you can download an app to pick up your local radio stations. All right, let's look at the actual sound quality here. So we're gonna bring up uh, a soundtrack that we've been using a little bit to uh, test some different radios. And we'll just hear how this sounds for a second. bring this up some. So I've got, for this smaller speaker, I've got a really full sound coming out of this. It sounds really good, uh, even compared to some of the other new small form speakers that we've seen. So sound quality here for, for what you got is really outstanding. Um, the, the voice, the vocals are coming through well. I'm hearing the full range of highs and lows. So that's pretty impressive. I do like that. All right, so let's take a look at a video and see how that sounds through these speakers. Now, Clint was a little over dramatic in the last one that I picked, so we'll choose one that I've done on this new Makita X2 mower that we've got. Well, X2 product running at 36 volts, but what's a little different here is we now have 
four battery ports. So this is a volume level 15. It sounds really good. But if you want the, the voice is coming through time, really clear. An extra setting here, and Let's you manually and switch up. between these two. And a lot of people, you know, we want that that uh, that self switching, automatic switching going on. But there is one benefit to this, and that's that when you stop and have to switch, you know you've used half of your runtime up. So you kind of have a mental gauge of where you are and where you're going to need to go back to the trailer for some new batteries. So we've been running these on Makita's. Uh, six amp hour batteries, the five amp hour batteries are also fine. So I'm not hearing as much distortion at the top end with this. Of course, there's no music in there. It's just the vocals and it's just spoken vocals. So really Makita's done a good job at figuring out where the top end is here. And it really does a great job of filling the space. Now, what I really like about the fact that we've got multiple speaker options is when you start adding three and four and you got a big shop or a big job site, you really can set these up and fill all of the space in between. We've been using these in a group of four, and our shop is 40 by 60, and this gets much, much louder than we needed in here, and even outside, outstanding as far as the amount of volume that we've got and the clarity of what we're listening to. So that brings us to the price. Now, each one of these speakers are going to run $139.99. So we've already talked about some of the trade-offs. There's no radio built into it. It is just a Bluetooth speaker, but you do have three power options available to you. The sound quality is outstanding. You got the multiple speaker pairing that you can go with there. So that's something you're going to have to consider. Other small form speakers may be closer to the $100, $120 range, but I'm not getting anywhere near the sound quality from those that I am from these. So that's something to consider. Anyway, if you got any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.